Welcome everyone, and today we're going to play as Portugal. The goal of this campaign is to make Portugal one of the most powerful nations in the world, and to make it a big boy. Let's begin. We're going to start off in 1444. Iron Man, Iron Man campaign. Start the Iron Man campaign. Let's just see what our situation is right now. Okay. Let's just see what our situation is. So, Morocco hates us. That's fine. I want to eat him up right now. We can his ass. Like, I'm happy he doesn't like me. Yeah, I want to just beat these guys up. So the plan is, the beginning moves are take Tadirs in the first war, then the second war, va re rele release release a vassal so that we can be since uh, this area uh, it takes forever to core. So we're just gonna get our vassal slave to do it for us and then eat him after. That's what we're gonna do. Let's look for who's gonna be our friends. First, we're gonna ditch. We're gonna ditch England. I don't care about him he's just gonna fuck us over simple as that so now we're gonna we're gonna go to speed five and we're gonna first start we're gonna immediately do the alliance with castile and improve our relations with france we're, we're gonna um, rival these guys and begin to opening steps to declare war on these guys. So let's just bring the army here. Make sure we collect in this. Yeah, we're collecting. Get these ships and separate them so that some of them can be collecting for trade after the army arrives in uh, what province is it called? Say Sita. I'm horrible at pronouncing names. So like, yeah, you guys gotta get used to it. Okay, let's see. Let's mop let's mop all the forts. So we start earning money. Sweet sweet cash. We separate the ships and now we're gonna collect in the best place possible. Which is Sophie for now, since we want to uh, get more money up uh, this little node. Let's um let's um let's fa fabricate a claim on teachers and Reduce army maintenance so we can make that nice cash money. Look, press play, and let's resume. Looking at the trade, making a nice amount of money. See, we're profitable now. We're not losing any money. That's how you do it. Let's just see what we have to do to become a big boy. Okay, so we have to go 1,000. Okay, we can do this, boys. Let's do it. Let's also fabricate on Granada just in case Castile doesn't declare war on them for some reason. Anything can happen in this game. Let's recruit a general. Improve relations with nobody because like we don't have enough diplomats. Let's, since we're making a lot of money, let's get some advisors. This tax one looks pretty good. Trade looks good. Army looks good. Discipline. We're also going to, oh shit, our king sucks. I was about to say let's, uh, let's just focus on admin, but bruh. Military sucks so much, bro. Let's just take that focus off whoever put that. Now we're good. We have enough diplo points to, like, quickly get the fifth focus so we can go colonize but that will be in the 1500s let's just press play and um yeah just do some stuff let's see how much money we're making still making a lot of money it's probably because of these two guys right here let's just build up our army because like why not
that was, it's gonna be like, me and the boys before getting attacked, and me, me and the boys after, it will be pretty, plus you have 11,000, probably can stack white me, but we got an OP king, these guys don't got an OP king like me, okay, we're making our moonies, Talamson's getting his ass kicked, makes sense, the guy's weak, and Granada's helping Morocco, this man has like, a billion slaves, so like, yeah, let's see if he has any allies, Granada, okay, that's pretty good. Okay, this guy likes us. That's good, good. Let's let's make sure the Buget likes us. Big Daddy Buget. Okay, and let's just stop stop a Morocco since like we have twenty five year two claims for twenty five years. And let's just see if you have a lovely lovely king. Yeah, we do. It's me and the boys. Me and the boys. The boys are ready, guys. The boys are ready. They're getting ready. They're putting their boots on. They're getting weapons, and they're ready to declare war. I gotta ward this guy, but he's on the province I want. Might need to attack him. I most likely will. But he has that fort. I'm probably just gonna wait, honestly. So, let's just see if we can declare war on this guy. Not really, because, like, our truce ends in, like, come two more years, and then, like, this man will go, like... I'm a hungry, I'm hungry, I want to eat a granada, oh yeah, and they eat him up, and yeah, I'll basically be screwed. Maybe a no CB war, but like, yeah, I might declare a no CB war for this one, because like, I want you to be my friend, but like, I don't 200 years, you're going to be a gunner. But, and I want to like, make you as weak as possible. So, you can't form a Spain. I can't, I can't, I can't let Castile become Spain. I just can't. Then they became too OP. They have massive armies. Right now, like, if I did decide to go up against Castile, or even in the future, and they're not Spain, I could beat them because the AI is dumb. But, if he's one country, he will keep his military together. The AI is dumb in the sense it doesn't know how to co coordinate well. But one nation AI knows how to coordinate well. So I'm basically going to be screwed if I do that. So yeah, let's just declare war on Granada. No CB war. I don't care. What do you guys think? I know this is bad. I don't care. Go to war, guys. Me and the boys. Me and the boys going to war. Me and the boys. We're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're, we're going to attack the Granada military. Granada military is getting attacked. They're getting attacked. We just won that, boys. Boys, get into that. Yes. Russia Warrior 4. We only have a month. Oh, yeah, never mind. They're already, like, messed with that one. Let's give Thompson some uh, military access because, like, they're already dying, so why not? So let's just see North Morocco. Where are you located? Okay, you're located there. If I take this. Oh, I have to take it. Okay, let me just take everything. I know I will get rebels, but like at least this land is cheap. This land will be cheap. Uh, um, like... Okay, guys, it's for the people, and we only we're the king for the people. So we're gonna do it. Wait, let's just see the option now. Nah, I'm gonna do it. Is it worth it? Mm, Twenty prestige hit. Twenty legacy. Okay, just for the unrest, it's worth it because I'm gonna get a lot of it. The concert is pretty good too. Also, I need I need an heir as quick as possible because like I just need one. I don't want to be in a personal union with Castile. I just don't want to. So yeah, we're gonna siege down. We're, we're going to siege down Mers Balana Malaga. I'm bad at province names. You guys know this by now. So yeah. Let's just now do some race war taxes because when in doubt you need money and you're at war, raise taxes. That's the policy. Bro, I have no captain. I got, I got no old captain. My captain. Rip. 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 My ships. Rip my ships. Oh, they won. Yes. I have to spend like 5 billion years sieging this fort down. How depressing. 
hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. I'm like at minus three stability and everyone wants to kill me. That's great. We'll stay like that, guys. We will stay like that. Because I want to make Portugal a big boy as quick as possible. To do that, we have to do it by getting into some loans. And taking temporary hits. Let's let's call it diet. Let's just um, now demand diplomatic points and grant charters. Let's just do this stuff so that we can get to the next administrative level as quick as possible. And let's make a generous donation like Nah, I can't. I'm gonna I'm gonna die. Let's just Yeah, let's let's not do that. Let's let them be angry at us. I don't care. Cause we don't got no money. We're broke. I'm bankrupting the nation right now so we can become big quickly. That's with anything. If you wanna do something quickly, you gotta have a lot of money. So I'm still sieging this fork down. I'm losing a lot of money. About minus three a day. This better be worth it. And it probably is gonna be worth it in the long run since we will own Seville. Like no matter what Castillo does, we will own it after this. Usually it's like neck and neck. Like, you have it, then Castile has it, then you have it, but if you own Granada, you're going to have the Suel node. And that's great. Morocco's getting kicked in the ass by rebels. They're losing manpower, and we're going to take advantage of that in the next war. Finally, progress. Progress. It's happening. It's happening, boys. How much manpower I have I lost? Let's check it. Let's, let's look at it. I've lost about 1,800 men. That's nothing. That's pretty good. Who am I at war with? I'm war with, oh, come on. I'm war with this guy over here. Rip. Have to sail all the way over there to declare war on him. Plus, he has, probably has 20,000 men stacked. But just as I told you, these men don't stack their armies together. So we're going to be good. We just need to walk there and be strong. That's the goal. How many men are you with? You're at war with. Okay. I'm kind of in trouble, but let's just see if I get lucky. I usually do. We have enough money to make a generous donation. I know we have to take on more loans, but like... In the long run, this will be worth it. We're not playing, this is not a safe game, guys. This is taking risks type of game that we're playing. But like, yeah, you can easily play it safe and do really well. Like, I could become a big boy without risking it and being slow. But like, I gotta show you how to do it the fast way. The fast way would be just declaring war on Castile, but like, um, that's kind of, that's really hard. So I'm just gonna do this way, the cheat strategy, the exploit here. But the exploit evolves around taking a lot of loans out. After taking all this land, we're gonna take ten years for the um, for uh, the claims that it gives. And we're going to take all the land in the next, next war. After we do the war, we're releasing our own vassal. And uh, take Faz, Faz, Talantrion, and Melina. These three provinces. And give them to our vassal. Finally, progress is happening. After this, I bet you guys, Castile are not like me. But that's why we're just going to send a diplomat in there. And do everything we can make them like us so much that they're gonna go like okay took some granada land we don't care okay let's just see how okay we got a lot of administrative points coming in honestly if i wanted to make a lot of money right now i would just kick my guys but like this king is not the best he's mediocre palms of the forest i don't know if it's for the best 
tell me in the comments if it's fourth or fifth. I'm I'm bad at re reading Roman numerals. So yeah. Let's see how the war goes. Okay guys. Let's look at how many men we have lost. About three thousand thirty five hundred. Just to take a fort. That's a depressing. It's a depressing one. Better take this fort. Better take this fort. What? You better take this fort right now, man. You better take this fort. Hey, hey, you, you. You look at me? Take this fort right now. How many loans do we have? 132. Let's just see if these guys will have enough money in the bank to give us. Nope. What about Tunis? He's rich. He's a rich boy. He probably have enough money. To the face, do you have like, money? Yes, I'm taking all your money. That's my goal. Okay. Red the rest has expired. So, yeah, it's an Italy now. We always wait for it. Because I'm not going to make my provinces at this point. Because we've got to rush for Admin Tech 5. So we can go colonize. We're going to hit up the Caribbean islands. Because that's where the money is at. And then Brazil. And while we do that, we're going to also get grab the Cape of Good Hope as well. Because all the trade from... More all the trade goes to the Cape. So we're going to rush to the Cape. Cape of Good Hope. Man, it's been like five years on this fort. It's been like two years at 35 per, like 35%. We need to take this fort right now. We need to take it right now, man. Break this fort down and take it. I doubt that's going to happen. We haven't even broken the walls yet. Oh, lucky, yes. That lucky boys. Time to take the capital, which will take 5 billion years. Wait. Brittany, oh, okay. Yes. Castile's in a war, which prevents him from declaring war on him. So let's just quickly go over here and do this. Quickly grab this. Yes, Castile likes us more. Okay, that's weird. It's like you want to suicide yourself. Go ahead. I, I got re I got 1k worth of reinforcements. Yep, it's absolute suicide. By the Grenadans. Don't know why they're doing this. But it's pretty dumb. Move our ships to here. Where we're going to. Siege down the capital. Take this. Peace out to Tunis to help us pay off our loans. Because there is no way... We can pay. There's no way I want to spend time and kick my advisors so I can be profitable. I'm just going to steal all their money, get them to pay me war reps, so I can handle this on my economy. Simple. The only thing this will affect in the long term, for the next probably 10 years, is my manpower. And that's alright. Yes, let's get this. He absolutely likes me now, so we take all of Granada, he's still gonna like us. He trusts us. And he dropped the ball on this one because we own Granada at this point. We just gotta hope he doesn't take this. Because if he takes this, we're screwed. Let's see how many people he has lost. I lost 23. How many men have we lost? About 10,000. How many have we fatally lost? Like 5,000. That's pretty good. I'm gonna take his capital, then I'm gonna go here. Then we're gonna walk to Tunis, take the capital, take this fort maybe, or just carp siege this down and get money because we're kinda broke. But like looking I'm looking at it alone, it's not that bad. Oh, we're losing minus five each turn. It's pretty bad. That's that's really bad. Rip. <coughs> we need to take all the money from Tunis then. When we go to Tunis, we gotta but I'll quickly do it since we don't want to for them to be seized on for a long time because 
their economy will just start going down. And if their economy starts going down, the amount of money we can get from them will be less. And we want to take as much money as possible. So we're just going to target them. Or just make it as fast as possible so he loses the least amount of money. Well, I don't care how much money this guy has because he isn't rich by default. Like, he has to take loans on this part. He could probably pay off loans in the future where we take land from him, but we're not ready. We could probably take land from him in like 1550. My guess is that because we gotta focus on colonizing, we gotta focus on a lot of stuff. To become a big boy, we gotta like go crazy on the colonial stuff. We gotta go crazy in Africa and Liberia if you wanna be number one in the world by the time the game ends. And once Portugal becomes number one, I'm done this campaign. Because I don't think I would be able to maintain it. Because I'm trying to challenge myself and do it as quick as possible. Not as sustainably, but as quick as possible. Maybe this works out and I will be able to do it as quick as possible. And the nation will be fine after it's number one. But right now I have to manage everything for this to happen. Don't worry guys, we will do it, I believe in us. 120, 31, okay guys. How much development does this land have? Let's just first see how much I have to. Okay, we have all the African, Africans going like, bro, nigga, get the heck out of Granada if you take all this. But I don't care, I got my friend, Castile, to help me out. That's fine. Okay. That's really good. That's a good bargain for my buck. Because, like, if I took, like, a few provinces here, like, maybe two, it will be 200 development. And I don't want to spend 200 development. Maybe we spend not as a vassal. That seems good. Because, like, I don't want to, you know, waste diplo points. Because I want to be getting to the new world first, not second. Let's see what I took. Oh yeah, I did. I did take a digger. Digger group. I forgot. Okay. Are you still the? Cl oh yes, man. Honestly, I should have waited. These guys didn't like go to war with Granada. Like surprising. But it's whatever. Rebels, I hate you. Why? Why are you ruining my country? Okay, I gotta go deal with them after. But I'm losing a lot of manpower. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have, like post a meme up soon. Me and the boys after, like before Granada, and me and the boys after. It's not, it's not gonna look good because I'm basically blending my manpower right now casually. Like I just don't care. Quickly, man. We don't want to lose the mans out here, man. We can't afford it. We have 4,000 mans. We finally get rid of these guys. Siege this down. Beat these guys up. And yeah. I want to save manpower. If I go to Tunis, I'm basically gone. We gotta think of a quick plan. A quick time plan. A plan that will work and will allow us maybe they will peace out even though um they're not going to peace out that's fine we just need to recover manpower lose money for a bit deal with the rebels sit around till we are ready to go up against thing <laughs> declare bankruptcy <laughs> not a good option England is no longer considered to be great power. That's great. That's why I said I don't want to be this guy's friend because right now he's weak. But in the future, he will challenge me in colonialism. Which is fine. Okay, let's just maybe give this guy military access will help us out with our problems. Offer military access. Can you please help me with my rebel problem? Let's just let's see if he does. If he does, that's great. If he doesn't, that's fine, I'll just recover my manpower and go. Just sitting around there. I wish he did. 
Okay. Let's Okay. Let's just wait for manpower to cover, attack him, and then sit around with our military just like you know at like minimal maintenance. So we can have our manpower cover, we're gonna put it full and go up against Tunis. And since we're so close to um uh, military tech five, we are going to oh, this is worth it. I'm taking it. We need this. Oh, he wasn't three three. He wasn't he wasn't like level three, but he's an OP general. Okay, let's just get rid of I don't wanna get rid of the explorer. Let's get rid of our old general. And since thing we're ready, we're gonna we're gonna that, that's weird. Oh, we're gonna ask. Oh, let's just ask. Let me just ask him for military access. We're gonna we're gonna head. What? Okay, wait a day. He gives military access. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna attack these rebels, and we're gonna immediately go minimum maintenance because I know that Tunis is not coming all the way over here because it's Clemson over here. So we are good. We can just wait it out, have our manpower recover, have our economy recover, and we can go. Get well, our money, which we really need. Okay, let's hope we win this, boys. Yes, we won this. And my boys, boys, sorry, you guys are not getting any. Guys are not gonna get any maintenance. Maybe the forts. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. We don't need the forts. We just maybe need a fort here. Yeah. How long until it? We will harsh treatment these guys because I don't want to deal with rebels. I want to just fix my economy right now. Take how many months? Take a lot of months to fix our economy. But we will be at minus three stability for a long time now. I just want to have enough money so that I can siege down Tunis and not take out another one. Because even Tunis isn't loaded. He has like two hundred dollars to give us, and like. I'm probably gonna go over that. So it's better be safe than sorry. So prestige or military yeah, military. Let's also not give this guy a king for now. I mean a general so that we don't want to lose him due to attrition. Okay, he's coming, he's coming. Got rip, rip. Good thing good thing good thing I had a smart idea to have this fort in place. That was a really smart idea on my part, but my manpower so bad. Wait, hundred percent. So I can. Okay, I'm taking this. I can't handle. Yes, we took it, boy, guys. We took all of it. And I'm and I'm gonna release a vassal because I'm gonna die at this point. I can't handle this, so I'm gonna just release a vassal. Cause like, that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna improve relations with him, and we're going because now he's protected, and yeah, he doesn't like us that much. But that's okay since we improved relations with him over time. Let's see how our economy's doing. Okay, let's just pay one loan off. We don't want any. That's fine. How much money? We're gonna go speed five. Wait, why does Granada own my- okay, that's fine. That is totally fine. We'll just take Tinder's for ourselves. Oh, I just thought of a smart idea. We can have him expand here while I expand here. Yeah, next war. I just gotta recover since I just- The boys- the boys are not, ain't looking good. Rebel Uprising, bruh. Are you guys trying to kill me here? <sighs> okay. Let's just reduce this because, like, yeah, and hope the rebels will spawn in clusters. Yeah, in in the next video, I will um, I will declare war in Morocco and sort out the stability problem, the rebel problem, and 
have a better economy. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and see you in the next video.